Yes, Muhammad. Hello. Yes, Muhammad. What do you want to say to us? Yeah, I just want to clarify. You said uh, the Jamarat in Mecca is uh, the house of Satan. So who, is who, who live there then? then who, what is Jamarat? Yeah, no one lives there. It's, it's, it's a place where the stoning ritual happens. Wait, wait, because, wait, 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 hold on. So if you know that Shaitan is not there, you are stoning who? We're not stoning anyone. So it's, it's, what, a, it's a symbolic uh, ritual. What's symbolic? What, what, what's symbolic of what? I mean, uh, why you to have to go to certain place and you have to say certain words in that place? I mean, if shaitan is everywhere, so why, what the point of going in certain place and then we have to throw 13 rocks? All right, give me, give me two minutes. I can explain it to you. Okay, go ahead. Um, so Imam Ghazali, he's one of the scholars of Islam. He says in Hiyal al Deen, he says, as for the stoning of Jamarat, the purpose behind it is to follow the command and uh, manifest submission and servitude to Allah. Uh, and then he goes on to say that it's, it's also the aim is to imitate Ibrahim al Islam when Iblis, uh, you know, Satan came, appeared to him in, the, in that place to instill confusion in his mind or tempt him to sin and Allah commanded him to throw stones at him so as to drive him away and dash his hopes mm. if you ever think that Satan appeared to him and he saw him and, and that is why he stoned him I, but as for me the Satan did not appear to me it, it should be noted that this thought is from the Satan and he is the one that, yeah so in a nutshell we copy what Ibrahim Islam did mm. um, okay let, and let me, when, let me we, ask when you. we throw this okay, stone okay. Let, let, it, let me uh, ask you a, okay here we go it. We have the Quran in front of us, and I want you to show me where Ibrahim he throw stones at Shaitan. Where we can yeah, find this story? I don't know where you can find the story, but this so, is what the So you Muslims, before. okay? So you Muslims, you copy each other, but you do not ask yourself well, who is the first one who fabricated this story. What if the story is a fabrication? No, for my knowledge, it's not fabrication. W why it's not? I mean, you have no source of it. W what, what what this is for, from? Where what is coming from? I think from libel scholars so what uh, who like who I mean do you take your religion from okay let me ask you is Al Ghazali is a is a scholar or he is a prophet is Hujjatul Islam what Hujjatul Islam what does that mean he's a proof for Islam he, he's such an intellectual person okay so uh, if, if Al Ghazali okay if Al Ghazali he says something that's mean you have to approve it right Not necessarily, but what do you mean? A second ago, he is Hujjat al Islam. Hujjat al Islam means the proof of Islam. Translate Hujjat al Islam to people, please. Yeah, proof of Islam. Yeah. Okay, so if this guy he became the proof of Islam and you, you acknowledge him with such a huge name, I mean, uh, uh, to say such a thing, he is this guy, he is equal to a prophet. So he is the proof of Islam. So you copy a story from him just because he said the story? He's a reliable person. Okay, let me ask you you do a, 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 a manat. Uh, you know, uh, uh, you Muslims, you you do certain rituals in the in the Kaaba. Who is behind the rituals of Islam? So, uh, like Estonia, I just told you. What do you mean? Like, who is behind it? What? As an example, as Safa, as Safa, as Safa, and Al Marwa. Who is behind as Safa and Al Marwa? What is a Safa? Explain to people here. So these are two mountains where um, a woman called Hajra, she was running um, between the mountains. And the reason was uh, Ibrahim Islam, the Prophet Abraham, he left his, peop uh, he left his wife uh, and a son in the, in the desert. Hmm. So uh, she was looking for water and then uh, Zamzam appeared. So there's water that appeared from the ground. Hmm. Uh, it was a miracle from Allah. And hmm. Let, let yeah, me ask you, do the Kuffar believe in Abraham? Um, maybe they follow this tradition well, how they follow his tradition, but they don't believe in him That's possible. It's, it's what been, do you mean the possible? I mean, they don't a, believe a, in Abraham. A person can, you know, a how, person you Muslim, can, how you Muslim you say uh, that Muhammad was the only one Abrahamic and the rest are not So how the Muslims they claim such a thing that he was Abrahamic and those kuffar the reason they are not They are kuffar because they aren't Abrahamic Now suddenly you say no, to they, me they that they the, kuffar, the reason they cook kuffar is because they took the idols as gods Okay, let me ask you when Muhammad he said a Safa and Marwa, it's okay to do it. Was because of what? 
it's, 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 like I said, these are our rituals. Uh, no, 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 no. The Muslims, they, the Muslims, no, the Muslims, they complain. They said this is this is pagan. We will not do it. Is that true? Or I'm making things up? They say it's pagan. I haven't seen that. Yeah, yeah, this is pagan because the the Arab they used to go between two those two hills simply because supposedly there's a story, a legion story, that there is a a man and the women they have six in the Kaaba, and uh, uh, Allah He cursed them, the moon god, and He made them uh, stones. Is that true? Um, and they used to so go between, and, and they then, used to go between those two idols. Is that true? Yeah, I heard something like, yeah, I heard something like that. Okay, so so this is what al Safa al Marwa is. The Arab they are not practicing Abraham. Read with me carefully. This is the book of Asbab al Nuzul, not my book. This is your book. Let me zoom out. You will see that the Muslims they did not like it. This is why the Quran came, chapter 2, verse 158 says. That a Safa and Marwa means Sha'ar Allah from an Hajj al Bayt, a Watamara Falajana. It's not a sin to do a Safa al Marwa. It's not a sin. Yeah. Okay, why yeah. they thought it's a sin? That means some people they thought it's a sin, right? Uh, read that again. It's not a sin to uh, to practice a Safa al Marwa. Here we go, the verse in front of us. There's there therefore, there's no sin. The Marwa and uh, the Safa and Marwa are among the indication of ritual of Allah. If there uh, so it is there no therefore no sin for him who do that your God saying that the Quran so what made yeah, the so Muslim, okay so, so what the Muslims uh, what made the Muslim think there is a sin if we do a Safa al Marwa why 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 they think it's a sin read me carefully it says here <clears throat> This verse revealed about a group of people from the helper Al Ansar before Islam. They used to go and make a privilege to Manat and were forbidden. This is where Manat is, and they were forbidden from going between a Safa and Marwa. Those people they worship Manat, a Safa is from the ritual of Manat. So, and they were forbidden from going between a Safa and Marwa when they went to do Hajj with Allah Messenger, which means now they became Muslims. Allah bless him and give him peace. They mentioned to this to him. It was a request only for this group. This group, they said to him, we are used to do a Safa Marwa. You know, we, we like it. Look what Muhammad, he said. So Allah revealed this verse. So Muhammad, you know, I'm not insulting. I'm saying to you what I believe. Muhammad, because he's a hypocrite man, just because a group of Al-Ansar, who they are pagan, and now they converted to Islam, and he don't want to lose them. They said to him, we like to do a Safa Marwa. The rest of the Muslims, they don't do that. Only Allah, yeah, Allah, Allah replaced the rituals. So what's the problem? What replace? I mean, do you replace? Why would they, why would they okay, are you saying to me, Allah, he changed? No, 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 no. A second ago, you told me this is about Abraham and his wife. And suddenly, it is yeah, about Manah. Yeah, it is. It's, no, no, no it it's not. Read carefully so, with me. No, read carefully with me. This is narrated by Muslim from report of Abu Bakr, etc., etc., etc. It says, we dislike... We dislike who is saying An An Anas ibn Malik. We dislike going between a Safa and Al Marwa. Why Anas ibn Malik dislike to go between a Safa and Marwa? You give me an answer. If this is what Abraham wife she did, why he dislike? Because maybe the pagan Arabs did it wrong stuff. So. Because this is the shrine of the pagan. This is not the ritual only. This is the shrine of the pagan. It's in front of you. It says because they were the shrines of Quraysh. In the pre that, period, no, no, how does that affect Islam in any way? That's the question I'm asking. It's very easy to explain it. Muhammad, because if he is a true prophet, he will not accept under any condition to take a pagan shrine to be part of his shrine. The prophet can replace the uh, rituals no. that they're doing. What do you mean he can replace? What do you mean he can replace? This is not he did not replace, he, ex he, he returned back to it. The, the people used to go around the Kaaba before Islam. The people they used to cause the black stone before Islam. The uh, 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 women they used to go naked around the Kaaba before Islam. Men they put a sheet around themselves and they replace their clothes in, uh, before Islam. This is exactly used to do. They shave their head before Islam, and they slaughter before Islam, and they cut the hand before Islam for a thief. And now Muhammad, just because an Ansar, they said to him, "This is a shrine of us. We like it." 
Muhammad is saying yeah, he's not saying. They must have took it from Prophet, Prophet Ibrahim or something. They must have learned Where that. Where is one. Ibrahim here? Yeah. Read carefully. Do you see Ibrahim in the story? It is the shrine. This is Anas ibn Malik, not me. Saying we dislike going between a Safa and Marwa because this is where the shrine of Quraysh and the pre Islamic. And not only that, it says, read carefully. So then Allah revealed the verse, said, Omar ibn Hubaysh, etc. I asked Omar, blah, 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 and Safa Marwa. And in Safa, there was an idol for a man called Esau. And on Al Marwa, there's an idol uh, 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 which supposedly for a woman, her name is Naila. The people of the book claim that those two had committed adultery in the Kaaba and has punished by Allah and turned them into two stones. <laughs> uh, now, where is Abraham in the story? Obviously, the Arab. They are worshiping those things. They have idols. They worship them. They practice them, and they are part of their religion. And Muhammad, just because he, he wanna, he don't wanna lose those people who they are Al-Ansar. They like it. They practice it. So you know what? Let us do it. Ibrahim Islam is in the Quran, so he he basically he him and the son they built it. Where so is Abraham in the Quran? Where, where, where is in the Quran? Where in the Quran it says as Safa and Al Marwa is from Abraham? Can you show me? Um, uh, it's not in the Quran, never. So I can find uh, where he left. Uh, I can find maybe in so, some scripture. My friend, what what scriptures? Uh, what are you talking uh, about? This here we go. This is the book of Asbab and Nuzul. The book, the book of Asbab and Nuzul is so clear. There's two idols of a man and a woman, and those people they believe in them and they worship them and they practice their shrine. This is their shrine. Who the 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 Ansar? The Ansar is the one who made Muhammad. Change his ritual and add additional to the Kaaba, additional to the regime uh, Jamarat, uh, throwing the rocks at the Shaitan house. Additional to that, he add this just because uh, somebody requested the same as the Kaaba. Who is the one who made Muhammad uh, pray to the Kaaba? Do you know? Uh, Allah revealed the revelation. That's not true. That's not true. It was Omar. Well, Omar, he said, My Lord agreed with me. In three things. Hmm? Yeah, where's the print for the cover? Okay. So Omar is the one who made the decision. Why he made the decision? Where's the seller? Why he made the decision? My Lord agreed with me in three three things. The translation is funny. In the case yeah, of the I, station I, I, of Abraham, I, 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 okay, let me ask you. Who is who is Abu uh, who is Omar to this to decide for the Muslims that the Kaaba should be the place of station to pray? Who is a he's a prophet? Oh, that's uh, Muqam Ibrahim, not the not not the Qibla. What do you mean the, 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 the this is the Kaaba uh, Muqam Ibrahim? No, this is the Kaaba. This is talking about the Kaaba. They used to pray in the direction of of uh, of Jerusalem, and now they switch. Now this no, is no, this is, this is we took the station of Ibrahim as some other Yes, train yes place. Be, before it was not so the station of Abraham. Yeah, that's not Ibrahim. Ibrahim. That's not that's not the Kaaba. No, this is the Kaaba. I think you misunderstand me. No, like, my friend. Uh, no, my friend. This is the Kaaba. Aren't you the one who said to me? That, okay, who is the one who built the Kaaba? Ibrahim as well. Yeah. Okay, and why this is not the station of Abraham then? Because uh, the station where he stood on, uh, that was uh, it's called Muqam Ibrahim, where he stood. Is it in the and Kaaba? So is it in the square of the Kaaba? Is that is that in the square of the Kaaba? It's near the Kaaba. Was behind. It's, it is in the Kaaba. It's what like a meter a meter away, two meter away. How 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 far away? <laughs> come on, listen. Yeah. So, about, yeah. Okay. It's, so it's the on, goal. Go, go, it's go, go, it's the, first of all, first of all, the, the goal, Kaaba. Uh, the Kaaba today, you can go and search right now. Even the Kaaba is moved. This is not the correct location. The Kaaba totally moved, and you can go right now, search and go, and you will find this is the truth. But I don't care about that. Who is this guy, Omar, who decide the direction of the prayer to make the station of a prayer, which is the Kaaba, is the station for all Muslims? Yes, so is... Umar, Umar mm -hmm. who he desired that the Muslim pray, pray where Ibrahim Islam stood mm -hmm. uh, and he built the Kaaba from. So he desired that. So and but, then Allah but this mean, but this is mean that the Kaaba is 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 built by Allah. As Muslims they claim by Allah angels even before he created Adam 2,000 years is a big fat lie because it was desire of Omar not desire of Allah 
and that's mean that oh, this... and oh, hold on hold on do you see what it says here did you see can you, can you read with me that is uh, my lord agreed with me okay read uh, i change the location please and bad ones talk to them so no read what, oh, I, what I highlighted you see the highlight so this verse the same as i had said was revealed unbelievable allah he not only he agreed with omar he took his words one by one and he made it quran and it became an order how allah he says nobody can make quran like my quran no genie no human being yet this quran is made by omar word by word the, no the, the, the when allah says no one can make a quran like his there's uh, many factors you consider. One is that millions of people recite it. Can you show me one one uh, surah that's that's uh, memorized and recited by millions of people? No, 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 no. First of all, my friend, over history, my, my fourteen hundred years. My my mother, she memorized the Bible from the first page to the last page. This is number one. As have, have a million people have done that? There is, yeah, there is a lot. Of, you know, there's there's millions of people. Yes, even there's people that memorize it not only in the Arabic, in even in Aramaic, the Aramaic language. And not only that, they sing it. They sing the whole Bible. You can go right now, type in Google, type uh, 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 singing the Bible, Aramaic, and you will hear it. They, they sing the whole Bible, all of it. Not only that, they sing it uh, They sing it three times. The four Gospels in one night, especially in the in the night of Easter. Four Gospels, they sing it three times, the Gospel singing. Now, listen. You memorize does not make you a person who knows what you're talking about. You are memorizing, but you don't understand. You don't even speak the language, and this is very funny. It so, it's, it's no, this is, no, this is not revelation. Here we go. This is the revelation of Omar. If Allah, Allah why Allah, Allah, how Allah agree with Omar? It's not Omar. It's not uh, Omar agree with Allah. It's Allah agree with Omar. The hijab is made by Omar. Threatening the wives he, of Muhammad of divorce is, is made by Allah. Omar. It's according to the circumstances, Allah reveals the revelation. Oh, so oh, no, hold on. Okay, it. so why Allah He said it as I said? Explain that to me, word by word. Who is copying who? Omar He said that in front of Muhammad. Muhammad He like it. He make a Quran. It's very simple. That's in brackets anyway. So, so what? That's in brackets. So that, no, that, no, no, no. It says that. It says this. This what it says in Arabic. What, what does it say? It says this is how it came in Arabic, and this is why he's yeah, saying, say, yeah, say, say, say in Arabic, my friend. It says, Rabbi Qala Umar, Rabbi fi thalath, فقلت, Ya Rasulullah, Law at Tahedna, Min Makami Ibrahima Musalla, Fanadarat, what Tahedu Min Makami Ibrahima Musalla, exactly word by word. It's yeah, in the front so, of you. So he says that Allah revealed the ayah. So what do you mean the ayah? It's word. Omar who said that. It's just Omar he said that. Omar, he said the ayah, not Allah. Let me ask you, did your prophet say that if there is a prophet will be after me, that would be Omar? Yep. Why he said that? Because he's got high ranking. Uh, you know, he, his decision was according to Islam. How, how, like how he is high ranking? I mean, his natural disposition. Hold on. Who is Muhammad to say who can be a prophet after him? He got that from Revelation. Uh, so Allah, He changed His mind. The, whatever the Prophet says is Revelation. No, no, you are saying to me He got it from Revelation. Muhammad, He was revealed to him from Allah that a prophet after him came. It could be Omar. Of course, that's Revelation divinely. Where, where, where you got this revelation from? So why He is not a prophet then? The, the prophet said that if, if there ever was and then he said no no, no. Won't what, what do you mean if yeah. I mean, what do you mean if what do you mean if either if, so if I, hold on you just said to me this is revelation from allah all right okay so yep. if allah he said to him omar will be uh, uh, allah revealed to him omar will be a prophet or if omar will be if there is a prophet will be omar yeah if yeah Whoa, so what does that mean i mean this is silly how allah he says that I mean, I mean, the prophet said that if 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 there was ever a prophet a prophet after me, it would be Umar. But there's no prophet after me. Hey, hold on. So what the point of saying if there's a prophet after me will be no, Umar? The point, yeah. The point is to show the rank of Umar the Anwar that his rank is such high that you need to respect him, honor him, and uh, yeah.
longest. What do you mean replay? Uh, so, so Muhammad, are you saying Muhammad is fabricating things and just to make people obey Omar? Not fabricating. So, he who is he? Run. Because this is very dangerous, my friend. His when you say no, 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 no. When reason. you say, when you say that the messenger of Allah said, if there was to have a prophet after me, it would be have been Omar ibn al-Khattab. Yeah. First of all, who is Muhammad to say such a statement? You said to me this is a revelation. He's a prophet of Allah. So no, no, no. Yeah, you said to me this is a revelation. Okay, so of course, yeah, Allah told story. Muhammad to say that. Does that mean that Muhammad here announced that Umar ibn Khattab is a prophet going to be after me? No, because the prophet in the same sentence said there is no prophet after me. Where? So that hold, hold on, where, where? Here we go. The hadith in the front of me doesn't say that. Doesn't say that he said that there is no prophet after me. I'll find it if you want it. Okay. There was a prophet after me. I, I know there's a hadith that says there's no prophet after me. <laughs> so so Muhammad he when he say if there is a prophet to be is going to be Omar obviously because he is copying it from Omar Omar he got him busted Omar he says something Muhammad he take it he put it in the Quran and Omar he says my, my lord agree with me in three things now Muhammad when I explain why he is or his God agreeing with Omar so he come with this he said if there is a messenger to be after me, that it be Omar, because obviously he's prophesying. It's not Muhammad the prophet. Already he's a prophet. He's just a prophesy. Omar, he prophesied. He said the Kaaba. He said the hijab. He said the, the wives will be threatened. He prophesied, and Allah, he took his words and he make it Quran. So Muhammad here. Yeah, Allah, Allah reveals revelation according to the circumstances. So simple. What circumstances? I mean, what this point of this? I mean, the circumstances are reason he desired it. Hold on. So Allah who who is more important in Islam, Uthman ibn Affan or Omar? Uh, Omar ibn Affan. Why? Higher ranking. That's not true. That's actions. not true. Isn't it? Isn't it? Your prophet was showing his legs, and then he did not cover himself unless uh, until Uthman he came. Yeah, that's because of modesty and uh, what? No, it doesn't. No. He, he says a different he said He's still no, no. no, he said that the angels are shy when they see Uthman. Yeah. Okay. The angels are not shy when they see Omar. So who is the who is the best between those people then, according to your prophet? If the angels are shy when they see Uthman, who is the one the angels they respect more? I mean, come on, from be, other be honest. From the narrations, we know that because um, the Prophet gave an order, and he, in, in a certain order, he said Abu Bakr fil Jannah, Umar fil Jannah, Uthman fil Jannah, and then Ali fil Jannah, and so hmm. So Abu Bakr is higher then, according to you? Yeah, of course. Okay, so why Abu Bakr will not be? A, so why Abu Bakr will not be a prophet? Why he did not say if Abu Bakr is first? Why he did not say if there is a prophet to be after me will be Abu Bakr? The answer is very simple. Because Omar was copying, uh, Muhammad was copying from Omar. And here, let me ask you about this hadith, as long as we mention it. Why Muhammad is showing his legs and he is not modest, sitting in front of his men, almost naked? And when Uthman, no, it, he it, entered. No, it's, no, this is a lower part of the leg, so this is like uh, I, I, uh, below the knee. What do you mean? I mean, obviously, it won't be showing the knee because it's haram to show the knee. It's haram to show the knee? Yeah, it's haram to show from the belly, uh, from the navel to the knee. No, it says here, Kashifan an fakhdayhi. You know what fakhdayhi mean? His thigh, is the thigh of his legs. Do you see it? It's in front of you. An fakhdayhi. Let me hide. Yeah, what, what does uh, scholars say about it? You don't ask me about the scholars. Your scholars are not scholars, they are potatoes. So Muhammad was showing his the thigh of his legs almost, and there's no panty at that time. So Muhammad is showing his legs all the way up, almost naked. Omar, he entered, he did not fix his clothes. Uh, 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 Abu Bakr, he entered, he did not fix his clothes. When Uthman, he entered, he covered himself. What's the English translation there? Let me see. I don't know. Okay. 
uh, Allah messenger was laying in the bed in my apartment and his and he he, he uh, his thigh and cover do you see it um, yeah thigh okay covered. okay so when you when you have people around you in your house and you are a prophet of God are you going to show all the way to your top of your thigh and there's men entering your house is that okay And now look I mean, what the, happened. Look what happened. The, the, the thigh is uh, above the knee. Yeah, his legs. I mean, yeah. So thigh, thigh, the whole thighs, you know, can be all the way to his testicles. And Abu Bakr thought permission and enter. He was given. And Muhammad did not cover himself. Omar, he asked for permission to enter. And he came. And Muhammad, he did not change. When Uthman, he entered. He covered himself. Aisha, she said to him, what's up? Abu Bakr, he entered. You did not change the way you are, you know, you're exposing yourself. Omar, he entered. You did not change. And now Uthman, he entered. You change. Look what Muhammad said. I should not show, uh, shouldn't I show modesty to the one whom even, even all, uh, the angels show modesty? Oh, hold on. So your prophet saying he was not being modest with Abu Bakr and Omar. And this is yeah, he's, that's his special treatment with towards um, uh, so Marley special and... treatment is I show you my legs or my ass. What does that mean? I mean, what's special treatment? That's special treatment saying that look, I'm showing modesty. No, 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 you, you, no, 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 no. He, here, your prophet he is agreeing that he have no modesty, his modesty only in the front of Uthman, in the front of the rest, he can show whatever he wants. No, the, the different levels of modesty, so is uh, this is like extra, so he's doing. So. What extra? What extra? My friend, he just said that. He said, shouldn't I show modesty? So, which means he was not showing modesty. So now he is showing modesty because Uthman entered. So Uthman obviously is higher from Abu Bakr, higher from Omar. And, uh, you know, he is the one even he collect the Quran after that. The reason here, the reason Muhammad, he fixed his clothes because Muhammad, he take his money for a long time from Uthman. Uthman, the biggest donator, the rich man. So Uthman, the rich man, he entered the house. Muhammad, he changed the way he sat because this is an investor. So now we will not sit as we sit usually, showing our ass. Now here, let us ask you, the angels are shy from Uthman. Why? I mean, I, mean, I don't know. Okay, are the angels shy from your prophet? Uh, we've got no idea. What do you mean you got an no idea? Obviously not, because Muhammad is showing his legs in front of foreign people, and yet he is saying, now I will do modesty. So the angels are not shy from Muhammad when he is showing his legs. The angels are, sh are shy from uh, Uthman. Who is Uthman? Why the angels are showing... But how do you know the angels are even there in the first place? Why no, your prophet he just said that he said shouldn't I be modest from a guy he is the angels are shy from him so he when he it's was not general that's it's not saying that the, the angels are there and having modesty he's saying that no no, general, no he's saying oh, he's he's a, 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 you see you are reading translation my friend yeah okay shouldn't be I ashamed from a man the angels will be ashamed of of, of being him. Be, be, will be like you will be like in trouble be, be, because he show up. Yeah, so he's not he's not saying that angels are there and being mm -hmm. having modesty. He's saying that the angels do have it. What have the modesty. angels have that? Oh, hold on, hold on. Muhammad was showing his almost his ass. He did not no, cover. No. He did not cover when Uthman he no, when when, when Omar when when Khalid, uh, uh, sorry when Omar and Abu Bakr. But when Uthman he entered, he changed the way. And why? Because don't you wear shorts? Is... Don't you wear shorts? Do what? Don't you wear shorts? Shorts. What? In short? The summer, don't you wear shorts? There's no short at that time. There's no short. People don't even wear underwear. No, people wear undergarments. No, your prophet, he, you know what? You know, your prophet, he used even to dry his, his hand in the wall. Of course, that, if that, them times that's what they did. Oh, no, why he have uh, people? They have a clothes at that time. Why he dry his house? Yeah, they don't have tissue. They don't have all this stuff. So. No, 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 they have a fabric. They have fabric, don't they? Have they have a clothes? 
Don't they have a fabric to to, to yeah, dry your hands? Yeah, cost a lot of money. So when you when you have uh, sex and you do etc. or you do uh, a pollution, you you dry your hands in the wall. What we will have in the wall? Because so uh, painting. No, you you wash your hands and then you dry it. You dry it where? On the wall. Uh, they did that in the past. But Muhammad, he touched the ground first. He touched the ground and then he touched the wall. Yeah, so does he put it on the soil? But and the ground the is not a tire. The ground is dirt. You know, the houses in the, in the time of Muhammad, they are dirty. This is a, a house, a desert house. So when you touch, yeah, if, what's the problem? if your hands is is wet and you touch the dirt and then you dry your hand in the wall, what happened to your wall? Nothing, it just gets very muddy. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you, what do you think about somebody having lice? Lice? Hmm. Mm. Uh, it depends where you live in. Of course, according to that, you what have the, lice. What is the reason of lice? To have lice. Um, no idea. What is the reason? You don't know. If you don't, no, take, do you know the reason? If you don't take a shower, if you don't wash yourself, no. Uh, um, where do the lice even come from? Lice is an insect. Yeah, where do they come from? They are insects. Uh, what do you mean they come from? Yeah, so well, what's your point? I'm asking you, what do you think about somebody is full of lice? Um, like you said, maybe they never, maybe the cleanliness was, uh, depending where, where they're living. The cleanliness was, you know, perfect. No, is it is, it, was, is it? is it because of dirt? Is it because you are not taking a shower? You are not washing yourself? Possibly. Possibly. Be because okay. in our times, the people they have uh, lice and okay. they have showers every day, so uh -huh. it's, it's you can have lice without. Okay, but your prophet he said that um, uh, the prophets of Allah are examined by lice. Is that true? Where does that? I mean, each time I say something to a Muslim, he says to me why he says that. It's good to look at it. Okay, I will try to find it for you. But I'm just asking you now: Is that true that God I, uh, that God I read that God it, he examined his prophets by lies? Yeah, personally, I haven't read it. But if, if that happens, it's, it's a minor point. It's not a major point. What a major point! How Allah, how He examined you by lies? If someone has lies, it's just it's like part of the human. No, no, it says, uh, Muhammad, he says, we, the people who they are prophets, Allah, he double our suffering. How? He said, by, by, by lies. So, if you have a lies, that's mean you're a prophet because this is a double of suffering. Where is this narration? Huh? Where is this narration? Is it Sahih? This is yeah. This is uh, <laughs> this is. <laughs> it says Sahih wa Sahih wa Hafiz. Then and even Al Albani he, he said it's Sahih. Which kitab? Uh, you can read it from uh, uh, Abi Sa'id Al Khudari. So what do you say? Oh. So he says Allah, that it's a test. Um, Allah, he double. He, yeah, uh, Allah, he tests his prophet by the lies. What's the problem with that? What do you mean? Why Allah, he uh, tests his prophet by lies? Is like, is lies like sex? Is lies? I mean, what? Why lies? Allah tests uh, with a lot of things. Uh, you know, so now you are a prophet of God. You want to invite people to believe in this God, and then you are full of lies. And this is supposedly a test from God. What that will do? I mean, what that will do to you? What is the you benefit? Can be tested, you can be tested with lice in one day, and that's it. What? How do you how, how do you know? You, you said he's full of lice. But how do you know? Like, is every day he had lice? How Allah is testing me by lies? I'm trying. To, I'm you trying to understand from you how how Allah is testing me. By by making lies attacking me, what is that? Mm -hmm. I haven't read that narration anywhere before. Okay, can we can we call the lies names? 
Can we say we condemn the lies? Can we say uh, damn you li li lies? Can we say that? Um, I don't know. You're a prophet, he said. Don't curse the lies. Why? I'm trying to find it in English. I cannot find anything in English. Why we cannot curse the lies? Do you know? No. Nope. According to your prophet, because the lies they keep us, we, we know we cannot sleep if we have lies, so they keep us awake. Is that true? Uh, yeah, they do keep us awake. So now the lies are blessed animals. Why? Because they suck our blood and they keep us away. We cannot, we cannot sleep. We have to keep itching. I don't know. I haven't heard anything about the lies ever before. Read carefully with me. Anas ibn Malik, this is your Muslim translation. Reported that the man, he cursed a fleas in the presence of the Prophet. May Allah bless him and grant him peace. The Prophet, may Allah bless him and grant him peace. He said, don't curse them. A flea woke up one a prophet for a prayer. <laughs> Is that for real? <laughs> yeah, of course you shouldn't be cursing anything. It's uh, no, 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 no. He didn't say speech, no, 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 no. You, you curse all you know Muslims. You curse everything. You curse the Christians. You curse Jews. You curse the Hindus. You curse everything. Even you curse your, your children. No, no, of, no. We personally do not do that. No, you 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 do that. I can show you tons of a prayer. Allahumma la'an, Allahumma la'an, Allahumma la'an. All your prayer is a cursing. Don't change the topic. Now, why if a, if a, if a lies, she woke up a prophet to pray. Who is this prophet? Don't know. Is this a holy lie sent by Allah to wake up the prophet? Just probably a normal fly. Okay, so why why this lie? She woke up this prophet, and now because she woke up a prophet, we cannot curse the lies. So we can curse all the other animals, but the lies, no. We shouldn't curse anything. You know your prophet. Anything. He says even kill the lizard, kill the dogs. What are you talking about? You kill yeah, them not only. Yeah. The yeah. scholar said was you're, a, a, you're a prophet. He said the enemy of time. Allah is the mice. The mice is the enemy of Allah. So why? Why? How is that a blast to flee? What does that mean? I mean, don't curse it. Why? Because this uh, this lie. She woke up a prophet. What does that mean? She is eating his blood. She is sucking his blood. Since when this is good? So according to your prophet. In one statement, he say that the lies are a trial from Allah. In another verse, he says that lies are a blessing from Allah because they wake up to pray. No, this is not lies. It says fleas. And my, my friend is the same. And the insects second your blood. That's what they do. No, fleas are different from lies. Okay, what is a fleas? Explain to me. Let's uh, see how they look. How they look? Um... Yeah, they're kind of same. Look how beautiful they are. So according to your prophet, those are beautiful and they don't curse them. Hmm? Don't curse them because, you know, Allah... The creation of Allah. The creation of Allah created You know, you curse everything. You curse all. You curse a human being. Don't you pray every day, five times a day. It says Allah, don't make us the same as the, 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 the lost Christians and the cursed Jews. The cursed Jews. Yeah. You know, it's the curse by who? The curse by Allah, not uh, okay. And he did not say Jews. No, you ask Allah say. always the curse. You ask Allah to curse. It's not you who is cursing. You cannot curse because supposedly you are not God. But you ask Allah ask to curse. Allah. No, you're not translating it properly. Okay, says, let me ask you. Let me ask uh, you. Uh, if, uh, if, if a woman, uh, if a woman, she take hair from her face. Who is the one who's going to curse her, Allah or you? If a woman, what? If a woman she take hair from her uh, from her face, yes, uh, it's a lot. Uh, Why? Um, the change in the creation of Allah. What does that mean? 
So whatever Allah give natural, they shouldn't uh, deviate from that. Okay. So now, if a woman she take hair from her face, Allah is going to curse her. Be honest with me. Do your wife no, take hair from her face? No, this is certain. Uh, they can they, they take hair from it if it's if it's uh, needed, but it shouldn't be to you know. Nowadays, the women they make it so thin and stuff like that, changing uh, the appearance. How a woman should look. So if you change the appearance, Allah will curse you. That woman will be a curse. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, so. Uh, is that because you are changing the creation of how Allah He made you, correct? Yes. So why you circumcise? Uh, because it's, it's the command of Allah, so He told us to do it. How Allah He command you to change the, His creation, and the same time He curse you if you change His creation? It's, it's like cutting your nails. So obviously Allah created you with nails, so you're going to uh, He told us to cut it. Okay. You know, so he, he okay, said, hold on, hold on, hold on. So if you, if a woman, she take care from her face, what is the business with Allah? How how that is against Allah? Because it, they're changing Allah, what Allah has created for that person. But you just said to me, you can cut your nails, and you as a Muslim man, you can even trim your mustache, and even you can shave, correct? Um, yeah, so I, even I can't do certain okay. things. Okay, so you can shave your hair from your if you're your face, and you are a man. But if a woman she take hair from her face, and she is a woman, Allah will curse her. Don't you think that this is absurd and this is really silly? She's a woman. She's the woman. She, he should make it the opposite. He should say, okay, well, if you are a man, you take hair from your face, I will curse you. But he do the opposite. He say, if you are a man, it's okay. If you are a woman and you do that, I'll curse you. But the women they need to take hair from their face because they are females. No, no, even uh, even with a male, if he if he takes his beard off, he'll be sinful. No, my friend, you can you can shave, and you'll be your prophet. He used to color his, his himself red head. Is it what? Muhammad? He color himself. Don't Muhammad he color his hair to make it red? His beard. No, his hair, all his uh, so okay beard. Let us go with the beard. So a woman she take hair from her face is a change of the look of Allah. Making your beard red is not the change of the creation of Allah. So he was allowed to there's certain things in, in Islam. What do you mean he's allowed? allowed? What do you mean he's allowed? No, he's not allowed. Where, where no, he's he allowed? It, Allah either Allah. you are forbidden from changing the way Allah He made you, and that goes for everybody, or you don't make it as you see here. Now Muhammad he changed his hair, and now the Muslims they follow. So now all the Muslims are allowed to change the color of their hair. But if a woman she take hair from her face, she is changing the way Allah He made her. Yeah, she she, she can't, you know. What, 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 okay, why, why, okay, why, why, why? I mean, my friend, listen to me. The Muslim women, Muhammad, he told them to shave their vagina. Is that correct? So he told even a male, female to listen. Shave was your, the was, your prophet, was your prophet doing a Nora? What's a Nora? Uh, uh, waxing. Hmm? Waxing. Uh, yeah, on the arms. What? Armpits. Yeah, so he 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 advises to clock the uh, armpits. But no, Muhammad he used to do waxing for all his body. Is that a change of his uh, the Allah creation? All his body. Where does that? You, 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 each time I say something, you say to me, "Where is that? Where is that?" And he will keep showing you. I'm asking you now. Yeah, sure. Yeah, show me okay. That. No, no, no. I'm interested to see. Okay. He did all his no body. problem. I will show you. But I'm asking you. Is well, if that? you take hair only from one place, you agree that your prophet, according to you, he take hair from where? Um, well, pubic hair. Hmm. Is that to change the way Allah He created you? Mm, the same thing that needs to be removed. So Allah tells us what, what we should do. Okay. What we so why, why the in the pubic area taking hair is fine, but the women in her face, she cannot. She can't. She can take. Uh, if it's too bushy, she can. Uh, just, uh, what you do know, you mean too bushy? It says here. It says here. Allah He curse those who block hair from their faces. Any yeah, from hair. from other uh, from other hadith, we understand that a woman should not look like a man. So if if, if it's uh, and she shouldn't look odd as well. So the point is, my that friend, no, no. It says whoever whoever well. take hair from her face, Allah He curse her. In the same time. 
you do waxing and you are a man and you do change the color of your hair and you are a man and you shave your beard and you are a man but if a woman should do that what do you mean muslims are allowed to shave their beard show me a hadith says a muslim man cannot shave his beard yeah the hadith says uh, uh the prophet said uh, grow your beard and trim your mustache and there's a man that came no no to the prophet, he, this is advice this is not an order you know this is not advice no, the prophet yeah no no the no man no. came to the prophet and the prophet turned away from him because of that no no show me what it says it's forbidden for you to shave your beard otherwise we will not see a one muslim he is not shaving his beard this is uh deduced from the narrations what, what? this is deduced from the narrations uh. <laughs> okay, let me ask you. Did your prophet circumcise himself? Uh, he was circumcised by who? I don't know by never. I never saw never heard of Muhammad being circumcised. Where? How? It's it's, uh, it's understood because he commanded his uh, followers to he follow commanded his followers to do many things but he never did what they do he said to them four wives he have 13. he said to them you etc he do don't uh, approach your wife when they have their period he approaches a wife is when they have their period he said don't piss when you are facing the qibla he piss facing the qibla muhammad he says something for them not for him he's like erdogan erdogan he said something to them he do the opposite no certain things i only for him and also uh, if you were urinating towards uh, the thing he was teaching us, that is, it's actually permissible, but it's uh, recommended not to. It's not allowed to piss into the Qibla, but Muhammad he does. Now let me ask you: Do you have any reference that your prophet he did circumcised, or he was circumcised, and what at what age? Never been circumcised. So look at this hypocrisy. He says and he claimed that he is Abrahamic. He claimed that it is from the ritual of Allah. He claimed that this is the from the order of Allah, but he is the last one to be circumcised. No lack of evidence doesn't mean that he, he, he never happened. Uh, no, the lack of evidence that's on you because simply this is should be mentioned in even the, in the Quran. Well, what do you say? You mentioned the Quran? What? Yeah, what, what in the Quran is speak about the circumcision of the Prophet? I mean, the Quran have time to tell us about the ants speaking to the ants. The flying carpet, the bird, the bird who went to find a woman, she have no hair in her legs, but Allah, he don't have time to tell us about what happened to Muhammad. It's minor, it's like less for argument's sake, say you, he wasn't circumcised, what's the problem? You see, my, 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 my point is, all Muhammad behavior, he changed the way Allah, he made you look like supposedly, but now he is cursing the women for just a silly stupid thing. Does it make sense? Does it make sense? What the business of God with women taking hair from her face? If you can't take hair from your body, if he allow you to take hair from your body, what is a, what is a specific about the face? Why if she take hair, why Allah will be happy if your wife, she look like a goat? This is not even logical. It's the stupid women. They are women. She, she, she like to be beauty. I mean, uh, imagine a why a woman now, uh, a Middle Eastern, I'm a Middle Eastern. We know we are hairy. We are very hairy. Once I was kicked from the swimming pool, they thought I'm wearing my clothes. I told them I'm not wearing anything. This is my hair. We look like monkeys. So a woman, a Middle Eastern woman, she is still hairy because we are. Yeah, so now, too heavy, so, uh, so now no, to. the prophet says, if a woman, she black hair, hair, Allah curse her. He didn't say black, you know, if she is no exception, that's it. You cannot block the hair. Even you cannot take hair from your eyebrows. Yeah, you, you can't isolate. Uh, no, you cannot. Show me the difference. Show me the difference. No way it says that. It says it clearly. You cannot. No, from other hadiths, we understand that. that no, my friend, there's no other hadith. Don't, 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 or don't or fool or yourself. Or there's or no, no, there's no other hadith. You cannot take hair from your face anywhere. Not your cheek, not your eyebrows, nowhere. Allah curse you. So all what we notice here, we are jumping like monkeys from place to place to place. Muhammad, he say things doesn't make sense. He copied from Omar the Quran. He changed the direction of a prayer because of Omar. He for he, he ordered women to do hijab because of Omar. And now he is coming with the most silly in, in a crazy stuff that women, if they block hair from their face, Allah will curse them. What about why he didn't say why he did not say Allah curse the man who take hair from his face? Why he did not say Allah will do this to a man who do that to his face? He did not say that. Why? 
there's many other narrations that apply to both. Like he said, uh, may Allah curse the tattooer and the tattooed, the one who. Uh, this is in front of you. This is all of them. I can show you all of them. They are the same. It's about the women. When we talk about taking hair from the face, your prophet, he take hair. Your prophet, he color his hair. Your prophet forbid the Muslims from coloring the, their hair black. Why, by the way, why you cannot carry color your hair black? I mean, even, even uh, yeah, he said not black. But even even a woman, she can color her hair. If, if you, why, why black? Why black? Why black is haram? What the problem? Mm -hmm. Um. Isn't it, isn't it God who created us with the black hair usually? I mean, what the problem? Those are Arab. Their hair is not blonde. So why well, yeah, they um, yeah, the black. Yeah, the reason black was is because you're deceiving people of your age. Um, because generally people do uh, color no, their hair black. No, no, he ordered them to make it red. Of course, in that way, you're not deceiving them. What do you mean you are not deceiving them? You are changing the color anyway. <laughs> Because you're showing, because you generally uh, you color it if you got white hair. My friend, your prophet, he saw a man. He have a gray hair. He said to him, "Color, color your hair." Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so you are deceiving anyway. Leave him gray. Allah made you gray. So why you wanna don't make it a gray? Why why you don't keep it a gray? No, people will know that this person had gray hair. So okay, that's why he colored it. No, if he did no, it, no, no, if no, 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 hold on. You are saying to me we should not change the way Allah He made us. Okay, it is is having a gray. If is having a gray hair, is it the way it should be? Why you need to change it? Allah decides what is changing and what is not. Like what, no, my what friend, is changing. You, you're a prophet. He forbid them from doing that using a black color because the Jews they used to do to to color with the black color. That's all. That's it. Just because the Jews they used to color their hair with the black, so he said to them. Don't color it black. So color it anything. Anyway, you are changing the color. So look at this prophet. He come with rules and he claimed that those are from Allah. But if you think about it, if you have a little brain, what Allah business to make you to make to be to be upset for Allah if you have a black hair color, but if he is not upset if you make it red. Yeah, so he decides what web is changing fish. I think it's been two hours. Uh, yeah, I think he shows about to finish anyway. So what do you mean? He is, he's ordering to. Uh, he, he, if you don't want them to change, he should say to them, "Don't make it. Don't change it. Don't color it." As you see, a man he came to him and he said to him, "Look, your hair is 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 white. Cover it. Cover it, man." In different hadith, even your prophet he says, "So the, so your wife she will like you." <laughs> <laughs> anyway, my friend, thank you for calling, and say hello to your to your sheikh. Maybe he can call us sometime if you have time. All right. All right. Okay. Take care. As you see, I mean, this is a crazy. A woman she color her hair. Allah curse her. A man he should color his hair. Muhammad, he don't like to see you with the, with the white hair. Why? This guy, Muhammad, he come with the most crazy stuff. What this is about? He do waxing. He take hair from his body. He color his hair. He wanna be. He, he wanna be blondie. But women, they take care from their face. He is upset. And even you want to color your hair? Don't make it a black. Why? Because the Jews, they make it a black. Muhammad always, he avoid getting busted by the Jews. The Jews are a problem for him. He changed his rules in the speed of light. 
and always he feel guilty because everybody knows that he is a thief and he is stealing from the Jews and others from the Christians from the Sabian the message of Allah used to stand up for a funeral enter the crops was placed in the grave a learned Jews once passed by him and said this is how we do it <laughs> What the Jew he said, this is how we do it. Okay, the Jew he said, this is how we do it. What Muhammad respond? Sit down, sit down, act differently. What well, if this is? We heard this uh, gentleman here. He said uh, everything Muhammad he said is inspiration from Allah. Okay, so Allah when 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 the Prophet was standing for the funeral in the prayer, is that the prayer Allah taught him, or this is a prayer he was making up? The Muslim will say, no, this is from Allah. Okay, how do you change it in a second? You know what I mean, guys? If Allah is the one who taught Muhammad how to pray, a guy, he walk by, he is a rabbi, he is a Jew, he say, hey, Muhammad, this is how we do it. So why you change it? Muhammad, right away, he felt guilty, and he felt, oh, oh they got me busted. This is how they do it. And now people, they... Will say he copied the Jews, and maybe even the rabbi he is maybe he's laughing, maybe he's making fun of him, maybe he's saying this is how we do it, but he don't, but this is not how they do it. So Muhammad immediately he changed the way to pray, and this is proven to us that Muhammad is not from God. Like he did not wait a day or two days after that, and then uh, Jabril came to him and he say, Muhammad, don't pray like this anymore because this is how they do it. In the spot immediately the guy he just finished saying this is how we do it Muhammad he said sit down sit down act differently if Muhammad a prophet of God he says so what this is how they do it good for you you are a Jew I follow the same God perfect correct guys Muhammad he claimed that he is a he is the same as the prophet of Israel. He claimed that he is following Abraham. He claimed that he is the same as Moses. So why you want to act differently? Say, okay, we are from the same God. This is the same religion at the end of the day. But because he is a fake man, because he's a con. And he is a false prophet. He right away he changed the way the prayer is, and he said to them, "Sit down." So obviously, Muhammad he fabricate rules and fabricate reasons. The reason don't color your hair black because the Jews colored black. The reason not to pray in Friday, but to pray, uh, sorry, not in Saturday, because the Jews pray in Saturday. The reason not to do it in Sunday because the Christian do it in Sunday, so he chose the Friday. It's just to act differently. And even the hadith mentioned that. The reason they have Adhan, why they have Adhan, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, because, because uh, for the, 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 the campaign, they said to him, what about we use the bill, the same as the Christian? He said, no, the Christian do that. They said to him, what about we use a fire, the same as the Sabian? He said, no, we cannot do it the same as the Sabian. And then one, he suggests that to do Adhan, and he liked the idea. This is not from God. If my God, he said to me, this is how you pray, you don't change it because somebody says this is how we do it. All the rituals, all the fabrication, all the fabric of, of, of Islam is either a copy from the pagan Arab before Islam, the Jews, the Nasara, not the Christians, the Nasara, the false cult, Christian cult, and the Sabian. And then he starts learning from Salman al Farisi, which is a Zaradisht, he is a Persian. And Salman al Farisi, Farisi he taught him about the Hur, he taught him about the Sirat, the bridge. 
he taught him about uh, uh, you know uh, the reward of women white women who they are extremely white all those stories coming from the zero uh, you know uh, uh, religion If this is not enough to prove that Muhammad is a false prophet, what is enough? Right? Anyway, I think we have enough for today. And I hope the Muslims, they will listen carefully. Feel free to download the video. My videos don't stay long, especially the ones I prefer to take them down because I want them to spread around so if you like our videos please download them share them in your channel have fun with them do whatever you wish uh, but don't claim that they are yours <laughs> which means don't claim that you are Christian friends uh, my friends the Lord the Messiah he said that from their fruits you shall know them and the Bible speak that those who follow the devil they speak foolishness wisdom is from the wise Lord and there's no wisdom in God cursing a woman for taking hair from her face God he created women to be a woman to be a female and then he says I'm going to curse you for taking hair from your face and then he says the man he can take care of from his face is it okay it's a right for a man to do circumcision which is a change in the creation of Allah supposedly but a woman she cannot take care from her face Islam always discriminate women and women are always the weak human in this religion for Muhammad do not need women he need men who carry sword and kill this is why he curses women. He claims women are they they come in the image of the devil and they live in the image of the devil. He never respected them. Even Muhammad he claimed that because of Eve, Adam betrayed. Eve betrayed her husband Adam. With this, I want to say thank you for being here. And until we see you, I will try to be here tomorrow too. I wish. Let us see. Until then, may the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord and Islam is false. And see you again. Bye-bye.